What's up, it's Nez and hey friendos, and welcome back to Cloudpunk. Last episode, we apparently delivered a bomb. Not a problem anymore because it already went off. What sort of cyberpunky shenanigans will we get into now? Apparently, we have to go pick up a package at Cloudpunk and then deliver it to some sort of nightclub. Also, we have to go repair our hover and then find Evelyn's punch card in our apartment. Is this it? The punch card? Open inventory. Whose is this? It doesn't say if it's Evelyn's. Can we look around our apartment? It is kind of cozy, despite the fact that there is no running water. Camus, are you just chilling around here? You're chilling in our mainframe? Buy upgrades. Oh, we could buy upgrades here? Pizza subscription? Get a random pizza daily for one month. Plant, is it weird that this plant glows in the dark? Or weird that I kind of like it? Glow in the dark plant? Aww. Yes! Fridge. Old pizza, ice cream, kombucha, fresh butter, just think of all the things I can't afford to put in here. True. Desk chair. One of those wheeled office chairs you can spin around in. But it just looks like a regular wooden chair. Lamp. The lamp is pretty dim, but if it was brighter, you'd just see the mess better. Ooh, I want to see the mess better. Oh, nice. Retro game console, music player, can we get a music player? Nice. A doghouse. Way too small for Camus. Also, Camus doesn't have a body. I think that's enough upgrades for now. To make this place a wee bit more cozier. Now, where's that punch card? Also, why are we... Is that supposed to be our bed? Hello, punch card. I don't think there's a punch card anywhere. Is there a punch card here? Or did we already pick it up? It seems like we already picked it up. Okay, let's head back out. Evelyn, I think we found your punch card. Hello, Evelyn. Can we talk to you? I found the card. You can have it. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what is it? A punch card. Ah, yes, I see. Which is... A relic. Dr. Zizit's liked old things. Antiques. Our home is filled with grandfather clocks, teapots, DVD players. But this card... I know this is just the first of many. Where are the rest? I didn't know you androids were sentimental. Universe, do you? The rest were with Dr. Zizic. They are scattered. So where is Dr. Zizic? She is also scattered. Wait, what? You mean? Last month, the 1875B shuttle for Phobos took off from Terminal B while the launch bay doors were still closed. Oh, shit. One of a series of systemic failures that took place across a range of Navalis' safety protocol algorithms the explosion caught over 100 vehicles in the blast radius, including Dr. Zizic's Hova. So, she's so that's what you mean by sorry. scattered. You did not know her, but thank you. She was your flatmate? We were best friends. We came to Novalis together. We met at the periphery. She was the last doctor to leave. I was the last surgeon. So oh, you were a surgeon. Dr. Evelyn? Although I was conferred the title, none of the humans used it. But if you were operating and saving lives, you were a doctor. If no one calls you a doctor or treats you like one, you are not a doctor. Still, you were saving lives and... Please do not tell me how to label myself. Sorry. So the periphery? I hear it was pretty dangerous out there. It was. But Nivalis is dangerous too. Is it better here, in the city? I saw terrible things at the periphery. But there was hope. Friends. I have not found those things here yet. Well, Will we could be your friend. Here in Can we be your friend? I don't know. Dr. Zizic had a plan for us, but it is no longer in my memories. I guess I can look for these pages. I travel around the city, so... It would help me a great deal. Please bring me any you find. I will. Oh. And if you need anything else... So we bring her the bunch cards. Friends. We can look out for each other. Yes. Neighbors. Neighbors. Our kind of weird stoic android neighbor. Who is Gaz Goodtime? Hello? What are you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. Oh, okay, you're just selling stuff. Wait, why do you have a purse? Also, black sunglasses. Why do you have a purse, dude? Thanks. Hmm, kind of suspicious. Okay, so where do we need to go? We need to go to Cloudpunk HQ. I'm just gonna explore what's over here. That seems like hollow cash. There's a corpse sec clerk, a waiter, that we could get food from. Okay, let's head back to our car. So is it perpetually raining here in 
whatever the city is called, Metropolis. Because it seems like it's perpetually raining. Can you imagine? Rain, rain, rain all the time. How do they drain this city? But then again, it is a floating city in the sky. So who knows? Why we're even trying to question the logic? I have no idea. Time to get back to our hava! Also, we gotta go get it repaired. Yamas, yeah, gotta make sure you don't die a second time. Now, where is the nearest garage? Let's find the freeway first. I guess we can pass by here. Yep, just free roaming, just free roaming. Apparently there are no roads here. Nexus Cluster. Okay. Gotta avoid the cars, make sure we don't die. Cloud Canal. Looks like we'll take a right here. Taking a right! Why we couldn't just go straight, I have no idea. Maybe it's because of our professional driverness that we didn't. Hey, the freeway! Let's just go on the freeway then. Going into the freeway. Whoa, what the fuck is that? There was something bright and shiny at the top of that tower. Ah, gas station? Can we repair here? No, this is a gas station, not a garage. We could get gas either way, right? Hold up. Ah, finesse, finesse it, finesse it. Ah! Fuel. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Whoa. We're fueling up. So. Uh, any convenience stores that we could rummage through while we're fueling up? Anyway, let's go. Where's the nearest garage? Garage. There's the garage straight ahead. Cool. Gotta get our hover repaired. Also, getting our hover damaged is just unnecessary fees that we have to deal with. Is this the repair shop? Whoa! Oh my god, dude! You hit us straight up! It's a good thing we didn't explode. Park vehicle! Hello there, bud. Can you repair our hover? 400 doubloons? That's a lot! Glass steel bumpers. We might put more dents in other hovers, some buildings than ourselves. Will we increase the health of our hover? Retro antenna? Can we get the glass steel bumpers? Okay, sure. Speed booster. Ah, we don't have enough for a speed booster. You should have noticed that first. But now, I think we'll survive a lot more hits because we have a bumper! I'm ready to bump you assholes off the road. Ah, call from control. Hey, 14FC, we did a status check on your vehicle performance and it's running clean as a spire sky. Cool. Look after your Hava, she'll look after you. Wait, That's gang what member, what is this? Good work, kid. Thanks, Control. Can we call you Dad? Or might that be weird? Hey, come here a minute. Why? We want to talk to you. Wait, what? So talk. Me? Talk to me? What do you do? Delivery driver? You're Cloud Punk, right? So you yes. must be thinking you're pretty badass. Wait, what? If you no, say we don't. So. Why you be nice to her? She delivers to the Spire. She don't respect us. Show me something to respect, then. You're sassy, acting like you weren't afraid of us. I ain't. She don't know who she's talking to, Razor. She don't know how you got that name. Razor, are you a shaving robot? You don't gotta take that from her type, Razor. You gotta do something. No. Do something. Like Please don't hurt she's me. Got a big mouth like me. So you're both part of Block 4.0, right? You Block 4.0. I heard there's an android gang I should avoid. That's good advice. You don't want to get in our way. Why do you get such a bad reputation? We do a lot of things we ain't supposed to. Robbing people? Yeah, like robbing nah, people? Much worse. Oh, much Urban worse. Urban renewal, bitch. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Urban renewal? Yeah, community project. Planting gardens on corporate waste ground. Turning old factories into playgrounds. Real hardcore shit. Mm, shit, I mean, wow. No, uh, I don't get it at all. 
Yeah, me too. Ain't nothing in Novalis that will get you in more trouble than fucking with corporate property. Ah, we I see. Be safer if we were straight murdering fools. Well, good luck. Well, I guess. that sounds like they a, have a point. worthwhile thing for a gang to do. I just figured gangs in Novalis were a bit more. You assumed wrong, but that's all right. We ain't surprised they talk shit about us. Well, I won't. I hope you two never get caught. Fuck yeah! You was right, True. She's all right. They seem like You're upstanding citizens. Punk. We see you later. Aside from the fact that they remind me of those two racist robots from Transformers 2, they seem pretty all right. They build playgrounds and parks and mess with corporate property. In the cyberpunk universe, it is true that messing with corporate property might be worse than actual murder. <laughs> anyway, let's go pick up the item. Hello, Cloudpunk. Pick up package. It's supposed to go to a nightclub, right? Let's head on over. Enter the vehicle. We have his package, but will Lomo think we are undercover corpsec? We don't look like undercover corpsec. What would undercover corpsec look like, Camus? I guess maybe like us. We have to act natural, not suspicious. Exactly. We're not suspicious at all, Camus. It is hard to act not suspicious when you are worried about being killed. Very you know true. What else doesn't help. Talking too much? You're learning fast, Camus. You are very smart and good doggy. Ah! Try to bump us? We have a plasteel bumper with your name on it. No one will try to bump us now. Ah! Maybe we'll just try to bump other people. To the Sin Wave nightclub we go. So. Ow! Fuck you, dude! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Our driving skills! It's a good thing we have this bumper! Now, where is the sin wave? Is it this way? Checking the map. Uh, it is straight ahead. Let's just keep going. I wonder what'll happen if we get Evelyn all of her punch cards. Curiouser and curiouser. But for now, we should at least do our job. If we have to make another decision between human life and our asses on the line in our job, I think we'd probably stick with our job again. We're just doing what we're told, we're getting paid for it. It's an honest living, to be very frank. People shouldn't judge us. We're just a humble delivery person. Now how do we get around here? I'm looking for a parking spot. Rotating around here, the parking lot should be this way. Hello. Just gonna park right here. Time to head over to the nightclub. Whoa, having police chase. Can we get into a police chase? On second thought, I don't want to get into a police chase. Corpsec will have our ass. This seems like a very shady part of town. Ooh, a vendor. Big Narco. Why are you named Big Narco? You from the East, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. You have Jews, Liquid Sun, Dermis. Replicating self-administering Dermis skin cells for androids. These are expensive and highly sought after by those who want to pass off for human. Skin? You sell Thanks. skin for androids? You folks from the East are good with me, but no sec. Yeah, we're not sec. Don't worry, we're not sec. We're fine. Ah, this is a sin wave. Can we get in? Hello, bouncer. Who are you? I'm here to deliver a package. Sure you are. Fuck off. Look, I need to get past. They're expecting me in the VIP area upstairs. Make it worth my while. Wait, what? We have to I pay you? Much money. I don't want money. Get me some juice. Oh, juice? get you some juice. Tram and all bottles. Corpsec aren't allowed to hold them. So if you bring me some, I know you ain't a cop and I can sell them. Ah, I see. I mean, will we get to keep the juice? Big Narco, you give us some juice, lady? please. You're good, but no. Juice. Thank you. Thanks. 
You folks from the east are good with Hey buddy. Buddy with a big jaw. You got some juice. I brought your juice. Alright, go ahead. And into the nightclub we go. Ooh. This is a pretty tame nightclub, to be honest. Where's the music? Why is there no music playing? Hey, you must be Lomo. I'm the delivery driver. I have your package. You're not Carmine. He used to run my packages. He retired. He died. Retired, eh? You know who I am, driver. Lomo? Kind of. That's right. You bring me packages. No questions. No mistakes. We'll be friends. If you let me down, probably not. I understand. Mm -hmm. What's your Noted. name? Rania. Well, Rania, I have some advice for you. You want to hear it? <sighs> sure. You got a don't fuck with me look on your face. But those are some clean hands. In the city, you've got to adapt quick. All the shit in the world ends up in the sea. But we still swim in it. If you dilute anything enough, it becomes tolerable. You hear what I'm saying? Interesting. Not really. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. You make a million choices a day to survive in Nevalis, and some of those choices are gonna hurt folks. You mean you like that bomb? <laughs> you just keep moving. Understand? I think so. Yeah, okay. All right. Get going then, Rania. Cora willing, you might just make it through the night. Might? What do you mean, might? We keep forgetting that a couple drivers did go missing and retired. What's gonna happen to us by the end of this night? Will we be able to survive? Anyway, we delivered the thing. Do we have another job? Was that it? Was that job that short? Hmm. Something tells me that won't be the last time we see of Lomo. Camus, you there? Yes, I'm here. Camus, people keep mentioning Cora. What is it? Not sure. Just an expression? Yeah, I get that, but it must come from somewhere. Do a basic search through Open Web and Pub Web. Oh, Karina! What the fuck? 872 different definitions for Cora. Just give me the gist. In the city of Nivalis, Cora can be used in common parlance to refer to the personification of luck or fate, can be uttered as a blessing or a curse, can refer to the hacker collective or cult of the same name, can be an expletive or used as a noun to refer to the AI governing specific aspects of logistics, theology, sociology, or infrastructure of city operation. In historical context, can refer to the... Okay, that's plenty. You know, you really need to learn a bit about the word relevance, Chemist. Okay, so it Should might I be the god up? of the city. Wait. Or the yeah, AI controlling call. the city. Kid, you there? Ready for another job? Sure thing. Hello, hey, control. control. What is Cora? Cora, uh, a code word used by hackers, an, an anarchist group, an expression for when you're tired of shit. Why do you ask? It doesn't matter. Just give me my next job. You're delivering to an unsanctioned street race. So watch Ooh, out. Ooh, a street like race. Drive converter from Emmett's garage. Your delivery target is Never Slow Joe. Never Come Slow on. Joe. Camus, are you there? Here. Camus, I want you to do a deep search for Cora. Not mainstream corp networks. Hit the deep net and the undernet. Is it important? Why are you so interested in Cora? I see it everywhere. And there was something about Control's reaction. Oh. Something to him. Won't we get in trouble? Oh, my head. I don't feel good. You uh, don't uh, head, chemist. What's happening? You're running on a low clock speed processor, so that's why you're struggling. Take yourself offline while you do the search. I'll be okay without you for a while. You need to swim. You remember how to do that? You need to copy yourself into the other networks and travel upstream. I. Remember. You're looking for Cora, remember? I want old data. Where did the name come from? That's your focus. I will try. Going now. 
Camus Automata now offline. Uh, wait, what? Camus? Camus? Uh oh. Are we starting to snoop with things that we shouldn't? What if control is actually controlled by Korra? Ah, you son of a bitch! Watch it in your driving! Hmm. Things are getting more interesting. Korra. Who is Korra? Is it just a hacker group? Is it just an AI that controls the city or is it more? Thinking emoji. Hi, Emmett. Uh, we're here to pick up a drive converter. I'm here to collect a driver converter. Drive converter? Sure. You don't know what it is, do you? Nope. It's not our job to know. It regulates the hydraulic output of the water tanks. It uh -huh. wears out fast, but without it, you got no grav lift. The sump builds up residue from the runoff because we got no clean water down here no more. Ah, I Only see. the fancy overcloud hovas can run without a drive converter because they use pure H2O. You're not listening, are you? Nope. I think they need this pretty quickly. You're right, they do. You better get going. What do they do with it when they get it? They don't mess around with it. That's the main thing they do, or don't do. Once they stick the drive converter in the universal maintenance slot under the passenger seat, the servitors will fit it in on the fly. Unless they've got an old manual, in which case, you know what? Never mind. I know you're not interested. I'll let you go. See you around, kid. Okay. We now have unlocked Yellow Tracer. Now let's get this drive converter over to the street racers. Where are they? They are over there by Botev Avenue. Got it. Can we join in the street race? I don't think our Hava can actually beat anyone in a street race though. But we can try, we have the spirit. Ochuba District. Ooh, Ban C. So I'm thinking it might be around this way. Let's go off road or off sky, whatever you call it. Okay, where are we? Do we go up? Uh, Where is Never Slow Joe? Whoa, are you part what of is the this? Race? I've got a drive converter for him. They went already. I'm the start line. Can oh, I them off? start line. I'm really just here to wave them off, miss. Damn it. Control, are you on the comm? What do I do? The race We're actually going to race? I'm here. Joe won't get far without that part. I'm giving you a nav point. Seems like he might have broken down already. Seriously? You well, to uh, complete this job. Remember what we told you when you need to go look up. for Joe. No failures. Without that part, he's not even going to be able to land safely. Get to him Joe. as fast as you can. Ah, I'm not much of a racer. Did I'll he drop try. down here? You can do this, kid. Remember, straight roads are for fast cars, but the city is for fast drivers. Wait, is he down here? Joe. Wait, let's park first. Ah, uh, let me park. Damn, Hava. Uh, Joe? Joe? Is this where Joe is? Joe? Uh, what? We were told to go here. Or maybe we have to actually race? Question mark? Joe, where are you? I don't see him anywhere. Away! There he is! Hold up, hold up, Joe. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! This fucking hover! Let me just raise this up! Hi, Joe, there you are. Um, hmm. If you're up here, how do we get up to you? I need to find a place to park. Where can we park? There's only one parking slot. You have to take the elevator? Okay, fine. 
I get it now. Let us descend. Gotta go look for an elevator for Joe. Elevator, elevator, any elevators here? No. What about over here? Aha! Same routine, same every day. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you. I wonder if we'll actually participate in the race. There seems to be an item over there. Also, hollow cash. Hey! Punch card! Cool. So, Joe, we have your drive converter. Hopefully you can finish the race now, right? Whoa, the fuck is that? Can we ride in that? I want to hover like that. Are you never slow, Joe? No, I am currently very slow, Joe. You got my converter? Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Cloudpunk. I'm gonna give you this old one. It's busted, but if you get it back to Emmett, he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limbs. These converters are worth a lot of money? They sure are. I owe Emmett, so you make sure it gets back to him safe here. Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get it back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you drive around the city in that piece of junk. You're braver but it's than me, our kid. piece of junk. What do they call you? Rania. That's no good. My name's no good? Wait, what? What do you suggest? On the run, Rania. What do you think? I like it. Sounds cool. All right. On the run, Rania. I gotta go. I've got a race to win. I'll see you around. Oh my god, I want that thing. Oh, it looks so fast. Maybe it's because it has red neon. Red lights always make things go faster. Let's head back down. We need to go bring this drive converter over to Emmett. I am back. Did you hear all of that? On the run, Rania? I don't like it. He's a racer, not a poet, Camus. Are you going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? I'm not sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. Hmm. If I get this part back to Emmett to settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So, are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man? Oh. Take it to the Mr. Emmett mechanic man. We could sell it to two different people. Do we want to decide if the racer guy continues racing? Or do we want him to stop? Hmm. Interesting choice there. Sell the broken converter or bring it back to Emmett. What did we choose last time? We chose to just do the job. We were told to just bring it back to Emmett for some quick cash. And that's what we really and that's what we really want in the world, so. Let's just bring it back to Emmett. Or wait. Hmm. If we bring it back to Emmett, he could repair it, he'll give it back to the racer dude, and then the racer will continue racing. But if we sell the drive converter, we'll have a lot of money. Money seems nice. The racer dude is probably gonna die soon if he keeps racing, so we might as well help him retire soon enough. Yeah, that's it, we're doing him a favor, making sure he doesn't have an untimely death while racing. So we'll bring over this to a regular garage, and then sell it. Oh my god! Ah, ah, ah! Almost got hit there. But should we actually do it? Hmm. Hey, do you buy these? It's a drive converter. I don't need it. Well, sure. I'll give you a good price, lady. Uh, how about 500? All right. 500. We are supposed to pay off Joe's debt. You gave the part to the wrong mechanic man. 
We got paid for it, and now Joe will stop racing. Yeah! Did you do Our money now! Joe? I did it to help all three of us. Yes. It all works out in the end, right? It all works out in the fucking end. So, now what? Control? Control, can you come in? We need a new job! Control? Ah, it's Cora. very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got what about Cora? To do. <gasps> Another job? No. If you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first. Ah, coffee. Where can we get coffee? I want to go get coffee. Why is the coffee so far away? Of all the things we've had to do tonight, why is the coffee the hardest to do? Oh my fucking god! Stop. Anyway, I like getting some coffee. Let's go get some coffee. This is just a normal run for coffee. Nothing bad is gonna happen to us. It's not like that racer guy is gonna hire thugs and goons to attack us just because we took his converter money, right? No, maybe? I don't know. We helped him out. He's gonna retire early. We got the money. It's a win-win situation. I say to myself as I justify my actions. It's a cyberpunk dystopian capitalist world, what can I say? Coffee, 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 coffee. It's all the way at Old Town. Why do we have to go all the way to Old Town for coffee? So, where do we get the coffee? Also, I want to see if we could get some new upgrades for our hubba. Bark, I want to get the speed boost now. Speed booster, 950, yes please. Oh, yeah. yeah, speed boost! How do we use a speed boost? This might be very dangerous. But danger is our middle name, we are on the run, Rania. Hold up, get some altitude. How do we speed? How do I speed? I don't know how to use this fucking speed booster. Uh, anyway, we'll figure it out. So we're gonna get some coffee down here. There's a coffee guy. Where's the parking lot? Parking? Uh, where do I park? Parking? There does not seem to be any parking. Wait. Is there an entrance? Somewhere? Over here? No? Where do we park? I don't see any parking! Why is parking so hard when our car can fly? I'm so confused. I guess we just park here. Okay then. Corpsec Clerk, Metro Hub Minora. Ma'am, have you found anything of interest? Uh, Can't say that I have. I don't know. If you find anything suspicious, bring it to me. Your face is suspicious, but I don't think we can give that to you. Is there any way to get over there? Do we need to cross? Whoa, Dynamite Simpson. Hi. Hey, come here a minute. Hello. I'm busy. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. Because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say maybe, so. Maybe, maybe not. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. And you want my sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Will we get paid though? Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. 
Ah, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're not savages. We're farmers. And we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? She what? just said we're not savages. I'm not playing Bach. So you're a musician. Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. If you pay us, Perhaps please pay us. If you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult for my people. It's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. Like you. Really? This will be perfect in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Show us the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta Excellent. eat. I think this will look fantastic. We sold the blue flower. Music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. Uh, bye. Well, this is consistent with the fact that we sold that converter for money. We even no, sold our flower. Your mother's flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. Oh. I used it as a bookmark. Oh. Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. We scammed him. We scammed him so hard. Hi, Aldo. Um, hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office. A debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal. I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So now I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You're really gonna give him money? You know, uh, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> what a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. Well, that's some characterization. We're willing to cave in for a ton of money, but we're willing to give money to a homeless guy. Interesting. Also, coffee! I saw you looking at me from over there. Wait, what? I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's, it's the coffee. So you're actually... 75. Wait, what? Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, wanna do something? Are you asking me on a date? Is this no, Grandpa I mean, asking us out? Alright, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something. How specific? We could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. Shooting? I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. We only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? I like pizza. Better. What kind? Artichoke and avo? From the new hipster place up there. Oh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. Well, the cute 75 coffee year old guy is trying to hit on us. Now let's get our own coffee. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? Can we get some coffee, please? That's good. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. You too. So that's it. We got our coffee. Okay then. Ah, call from Camus. Hello. Is that you? 
Chemist Hello, Camus. I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is it about Cora? Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. Camus sleeps. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Camus sleeps. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it. It's just it's a bit dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep. Sleep. Sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Cora now. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Uh, wait, what? Shit. Uh, well, too late to do anything about it now. What? Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. So the city much. hub. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. Mm -hmm. Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Everything is decided by Cora. I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. The Another internet is defunct. Text called the Exegesis, a pseudo historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exit, whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Cora is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Uh -huh. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Cora is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data. The Interesting. The internet. It's like an urban legend. Computer-operated recycling agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? Yep. More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... Can dog AIs even drink coffee? No. I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. Okay, so we unlocked a vertical repulsor. Also, we learned a lot more about Korra.
Why we need to learn about Korra? Hmm, things are getting suspicious. But if you friendos enjoyed this episode, leave your comments down below and like and subscribe so we can grow our channel together. Also hit that notification bell to always stay up to date with our videos. But until the next episode of Cloud Punk, my name is Nez and thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye friendos.